G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be reacting to yet another Samson song. So this one is Sincerely a Taxpayer. Very excited to check this one out, guys. It's a pretty long one, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm all here for it. So let's jump in and see what Samson has to say. Now, uh, I will try not to... Uh, pause this as much as I did the other one. Um, you know, it's it's probably going to be a long enough video as it is, so we'll try and run through it as best we can. But let's jump in, guys. Also, before we do, if you are new to the channel, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the growth and all that good stuff. I'm hurting. I can feel my money draining. They take everything I make, and you wonder why I'm complaining. Ah. I break my neck to make this money that they just come and take it from me. My wages ain't that great in the first place. I should be paying you nothing, but they keep on coming and they keep on taking these motherfuckers. Go ham on me every time I bring them the bacon. Oh, and I, I like it. That was a hey, look. I know, I know I said I wasn't going to pause too much, but that was a clean line. These motherfuckers go ham on me when I bring home the bacon because we obviously know ham, bacon, cuts of pork. Uh, so yeah, very very good there. I like that. clever, but really good, really good start. Like basically, we, we can see where this is going. It's basically you know, I think everybody in the world is feeling it at the moment. We are <laughs> we're putting out more money than we're bringing in, basically. So uh, yeah, love that bit though. The bringing home the bacon that that was brilliant. And they keep on taking these motherfuckers go ham on me every time I bring them the bacon. And I wonder what it's for. Ukraine, great funding a war. Have we spent enough yet? Should I guess not? Look, here they come for some more. Fuck me, I'm sore. Sucks being poor. You had the same job for the last six years. What is struggling before? Back when Trump was in office. Fuck all the junk that they called him. I never saw any of the shit that people always said he was in the comments. All of it was nonsense. I ain't even trying to ride him either. I'm just saying you gotta admit this shit was fine when he was the leader. It was And that's true, man. A hundred percent. Like the same with Australia. We've changed government. We've gone from um Scott Morrison to Anthony Albanese, and it's been a struggle, man. It has been a struggle. I just, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with the governments at the moment. They just, they just take, take, take. And there's no give, man. We, we, we need people like Trump back. We really bloody do. It was fine when he was in charge. I never saw bills as high as they are. I never got chills just literally thinking about filling up my car. It shouldn't be that way. I don't care about Russia or Ukraine, but I do care about my own country. Is that insane? I care a lot about all the tons of money that we're paying because it's mine, not yours, and I'm the one that feels the pain. I get taxed on my fucking ass for every dime I make. It'd be fine if they would spend my money wisely, but no way. It'd be great if they would... Again, again, sorry. <laughs> I think I need to. It'd be fine if they'd spend their money wisely, but no, they don't. And that's absolutely true. It's like, you know, in Australia, we've got a lot of homeless people. We've got a lot of people struggling, like farmers. My old man is a farmer. Uh, he breeds cattle and, you know, he sells that. He sells cattle and stuff like that. So it's, it's one of the hardest times at the moment for farming in Australia. And instead of, you know handing out to the farmers they're taking from the farmers and handing out to other countries let's fix what's going on here before we help anyone else like it does my head in it honestly does take it and pay for important shit that benefited you and me and not just wage your wars with it and where the fuck are all the liberals i thought you stood against this shit i thought the war machine was your enemy now you're friends with it now you want to go to war now you want to fight now you want to pick sides in a feud where everyone is white now you want to get involved and go and blow a person up i'm just saying i'm surprised this altercation ain't diverse enough no one deserves this stuff i just don't believe the tears you weep countries where brown people get bombed every day i don't hear a peep you fuck Countries with brown people get bombed every day. I don't hear a peep. 100% man, 100%. I just don't believe the tears you weep. Countries with brown people get bombed every day. I don't hear a peep, you fucking hypocrites. Thought the race thing was your shtick. I thought as long as white people were involved, you don't give a shit. Those are your words, not mine. I'm just wondering why. Why do we have endless money for them and none for Hawaii? Why is it every time Zelensky needs a loan from someone, we're the only ones that give it to him like we owe him something? We got issues of our own here at home that no one's discussing and they keep growing because no one in power is going to 
nothing was stuck. How the fuck we gonna help somebody else when we can't even reach inside our own pockets to help ourselves? We can I love that, man. How are we gonna help someone else when we can't even reach inside our own pockets and help ourselves? Allocate that money to our own people in different ways to clothe and feed and bathe and let them know it'll be okay. We could definitely do that. Don't tell me it's not that simple. People over agreed, agreed, Samson. Thank you. Complicate this and make it some fucking riddle like <laughs> can't just feed everyone. Are you insane? You know how much that costs? Way less than we've sent to Ukraine. I know that for sure. You don't have to be a mathematician or a foreign relations expert to figure out that division. You don't have to draw a graph to see it would cost a fraction to solve half of the problems we have and stop them from happening i'm just saying what kind of fucking world we living in so many billions we've given them when's europe chipping in oh we gonna start split so many billions we've given them when is europe chipping in i love that bro that's, that's true man facts we living in so many billions we've given them when's europe chipping in when we gonna start splitting and stirring up the dividends and begin telling other nations it's your turn to lend a hand listen i don't think ukraine deserves any of this but i also don't think Zelensky is as great as they said he is i don't believe the media when they blurt shit on their shows you'd have to be naive to think this dude's as pure as driven snow no one is especially when you run a nation dog your morals are compromised the minute that you take the job so i don't trust Zelensky, putin biden or any Anyone, I don't think any of them give a fuck about all us little ones. All the people of man, that they hundred percent man, they don't care. They don't care. It's true. Russia, all the people of you any of them give a fuck about all us little ones. All the people of Russia, all the people of Ukraine, most of the people of the USA probably feel the same. We don't want this shit, it's only the elites that do. They line their pockets, they profit from this, but not from me and you. Yes. Quite the contrary, in fact, we pay for it with our lives and money. They take chunks of everything we make, you soldiers die for nothing, so they can gain some more power and keep their banks fat, and all we get is table scraps. Fuck yeah, it makes me mad. Fuck yeah, I get upset. We're constantly ignored. Why the fuck I gotta pay for this i don't want this war yes. how the pentagon have six billion unaccounted for but when i do my taxes i'm afraid to be a dollar short i'm afraid i'll go to jail i'm afraid i'll do some time if i don't pay you back the money that you wasted that was mine i can't 100 percent, man i feel this I i'm gonna show the wife this i'm gonna show the wife this because this is freaking brilliant be quiet anymore it's impossible to shut up i'm sick and tired of being responsible for all your fuck ups but the question is what are we gonna do about it there's never a plan of action all we seem to do is shout it and i'm guilty of it too always bitching and complaining never walking always talking always lipping off and saying i'm gonna do shit but i don't and to be honest with you that's the reason i don't make a lot of songs and that's the truth i'm sick of bumping my gums i'm tired of flapping my jibs something needs to be done and i don't know if rapping is it we need a real solution but we you know what though i i i actually think that samson probably needs to bring out more and not just because i'm and what's the word i'm greedy and want more samson because i think everybody wants more samson everybody needs more samson in their life but like he pops off man when he creates something he it pops off people see it he needs to do more in my opinion man he, he, I, I think that this is the best way to get a point across i really do because i think a lot of people will see it need to get together first because unless we're all in this as a whole it'll never work yes. however what do i know i'm just a moron with a pen but there's power in numbers and there's more of us in them yes the table is tilted folks the game is rigged and nobody seems to notice nobody seems to care Good, honest, hardworking people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Yeah. All right. That's pretty much it there, guys. Very, very good track. I do hope we hear more from Samson, but I... Something tells me we probably won't hear another song for like another four or five months. Never know though, but uh, yeah, very, very much loved this track. Again, like with everything Samson does, it's just brilliant. It is just so good. He is such a talented artist. We we don't deserve Samson. The world does not deserve Samson. He's too good for us. But absolutely love this one, guys. He hit, he hit the nail on the head. I agree with everything he says. I love this. This was brilliant. Um, as I always do this year, ranking songs out of 10. This one for me is a 10 out of 10. I loved it. Could not fault it. I thought he absolutely hit the nail on the head here. 
Loved it, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe, guys. really helps the growth of the channel. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.